Hello, hello, hello. Okay na po. Sorry for that uh, inconvenience. Okay, so ulitin ko ulit. So, nakamute pala ako, no? <laughs> okay, so again, good afternoon po sa inyong lahat. Ayan. So, uh, today is uh, Friday, June 3, 2022. So, ibig sabihin kapag Friday ay Mathematics Day. At narito na naman tayo sa ating DepEd Itulay Online Tutorial for Grade 6 uh, Mathematics. Okay. So, ito nga po, gaya nga na nabanggit ko, si Kevin Martin Doluntap, good afternoon po, watching from Sorsogon East Central School, Sorsogon City, ayan, uh, grade 6 SSCS advisor, si Ma'am Jessica Ramiscal, si Gwyneth Angeline El Tolentino, good afternoon po, watching from Aurora, a Quezon Elementary School, SDO Quezon City, si Carl Dominic U. Baliwas, good afternoon po, ayan, thank you. Si Roxeline Florida, good afternoon po, Tutor Andre. Si Cassandra Bravo, good afternoon po, from Gamu Central School, uh, Grade 6, Mahogany. Still watching and listening to DepEd Itulay. Ayan. So, thank you, uh, dear students, for recognizing that, uh, uh, that I'm muted a while ago. So, humabol pa si Arian May uh, Zacharia. So, good afternoon kay Arian May uh, Zacharia, watching from Sorsogon East. Central School SDO Sorsogon City. Ayan. So, maraming maraming uh, salamat po. Okay. So, for today, again. So, again, welcome to our Deped Itulay Online Tutorial. So, ako muli ang inyong tutor, si Tutor Andre, ang inyong Math Bay. And to start our lesson for today, we're going to study on Mathematics 6, Quarter 4, Week 5, which is all about Introduction to Probability. Ayan. So, hopefully, I... Uh, Nakikita nyo na po yung nasa screens right now, yung ating PowerPoint presentation. Ayan. Okay. Sige po. So, let us start our lesson. So, ayan. Abangan po kami lagi ni Tutor Prince every Friday from uh, 1 o'clock p.m. to 1.40 p.m. via our FB and uh, YouTube pages sa DepEd EdTech Unit, DepEd Tayo, DepEd Philippines, DepEd EdTech at DepEd TV. Maraming maraming salamat po. Okay. So, to start off our lesson for today, so special thanks muna sa ating uh, mga dear teachers na nag-lend sa atin ng modules sa development team. Ayan po, maraming salamat po sa inyo mga ma'am and sir for the modules na ginamit po natin sa ating magiging lesson for today. So, maraming maraming salamat po sa inyo mga ma'am and uh, sir. Okay. So, what are the objectives of the lesson for today? So, at the end of the session, you are going to able to, or you will be able to, first, describe the meaning of probability, such as 50% chance of rain, and 1 million, or 1 in a million, rather, 1 in a million chance of winning. And also, you are going to perform experiments and record outcomes. So, mamaya, discuss natin yan sa ating lesson for Today, okay, so bago muna tayo magsimula, ay i-recognize muna natin ang ating mga solvemates of the week. So, sino-sino nga ba ang ating mga solvemates sa ating week 3? So, may isa lang tayo babanggitin. Hindi natin siya nabanggit yung last week 3. Si Gracie and Kionisala. Ayan, si Gracie ang ating solvemate. Then, sa ating week 4 or sa ating last week's uh, session, week 4, so, we recognize natin si Enrico Manuel T. Dalupan. Ayan. Cassandria C. Bravo. Jeric Johan S. Ramirez. Si Gwyneth Angeline L. Tolentino. Si Gerald R.V. D. Cantor. Si Maria Riana Meticia T. Semcon. Si Maria Arian May B. Zacharias Si Kevin Martin J. Daluntat Si Nerwin P. Negal Jr. Si Henry Stephen P. Kadapan Adrian Ray D. Rivera Carl Dominic U. Baliwas Si Ian Gail R. Dilay at si Gracie N. Kionisala. So congratulations ulit sa ating mga 
soulmates. Okay, so to start our lesson, let's have this. Okay, so let's see if you can or if you can answer this problem. So tell whether the given events or happenings show a probability which is either certain, most likely, likely, unlikely, or impossible to happen. Okay, so sa mga hindi po nakakaintindi o hindi naintindihan, I explain natin kung ano nga ba ibig sabihin niyan. So, when you say certain, so you are very sure. So, sure na sure tayo dyan. Kapag uh, uh, likely, it's just half-half uh, or 50-50, no? So, equal chance. Kapag most likely, syempre, uh, almost uh, sure. Unlikely is um, minsan lang mangyayari. Or impossible, kaya nga impossible, so it's not possible. Or hindi, hindi posible na mangyayari, o hindi mangyayari talaga. Okay, so tinan natin. So, kindly comment in your answers, uh, grade 6 students, in our live chat box. And tell whether the given events show certain, most likely, likely, unlikely, or impossible to happen. Okay, so let's start with number one. So for number one, you are more than 10 years old. Number two, you will be late for school tomorrow. Number three, your favorite basketball team will win their next game. Number four, it is your teacher's birthday tomorrow. Uh, number five, you will obtain seven when rolling a regular die. Okay, so let's start with number one. Okay, so number one, you are more than 10 years old. Okay, so obviously, at your age, grade 6 students, so dahil kayo grade 6 students, so most likely, or should I say, uh, pag more than 10 years old na kayo, uh, of course, grade 6 kayo, so you can either be 11 or 12 years old, no? If I'm not mistaken, kung tama ako, 11 or 12 years old na kayo, grade 6 students. So, dahil kayo ay more than 10 years old na, so, bihira lang naman o wala naman masyado na grade 6 o wala pa ako na-encounter na grade 6 student na <laughs> less than 10 years old or even 10 years old, no? So, most likely, ang grade 6 students ay pumapatak ng 11 or 12 years old. So, dahil more than 10 years old yon so, it's 100% sure that uh, you are more than 10 years old. So, the answer to that question is certain. Okay. So, certain yan. Kasi, syempre, uh, sure na sure naman or 100% na uh, kayo ay more than 10 years old. Okay. So, let's have number two. You will be late for school tomorrow. Well, so, depende sa sitwasyon, no? So, Katulad niyan, so assume natin na mag-face-to-face na or nag-face-to-face na kayo, I assume. So kung halimbawa ay uh, kaya niya naman na pumasok ng early o hindi naman kayo masyadong malilit, so therefore, we can say that it is unlikely to happen. no? So unlikely or most probably unlikely to happen yan. So hindi naman kayo masyadong uh, malilit sa school o pagpasok sa school, no? And also, um, syempre, ayaw din naman natin na maging uh, late sa school, no? So, may instance din naman, o pwede din natin sabihin na halimbawa sa hindi inaasang uh, pangyayari, no? Uh, na late tayo dahil sa traffic. Okay, so we can say that this is somehow likely pala. So, this is likely. I'm corrected on that. So, it should be likely. Kasi it can either be uh, you are late or not late. So, it's likely to happen. So, okay, next, number three. Your favorite basketball team will win their next game. Okay, so for number three, your favorite basketball team will win their next Game, so, obviously, the answer to that is, of course, likely pa din. Okay, bakit likely? 
kasi dalawa lamang ang posibilidad na mangyari. Pwedeng ang favorite basketball team mo ay mananalo or matatalo. Kasi nga, usually sa uh, isang laro ng basketball, ay dalawang teams ang naglalaban. No? So either one of them will win or lose. Or your favorite basketball team will win or lose. So it's likely to happen. Okay, let's have number four. For number four, it is your teacher's birthday tomorrow. Well, technically, pwede rin na mangyari yan. Alam mo, nagkataon talaga na birthday ng teacher nyo tomorrow. But somehow, syempre, sa isang tao ay uh, bihira lang naman ang may birthday bukas, no? So, hindi naman, hindi naman malayo na mangyari yan. So, bihira lamang ang mangyari. So, dahil bihira lang eh, at there is only a small chance that the event will happen. So, therefore, this is unlikely. Okay, so it's unlikely to happen. Kasi nga, uh, bibihira lang naman ang uh, magkaroon ng birthday tomorrow. Pero malay natin, birthday ko pala bukas. No? Tigalo naman dyan. De joke lang po. <laughs> Ayan. Okay, let's proceed to number five. You will obtain seven when rolling a regular die. Okay, so sa mga hindi familiar sa word na die, so when you say die, it is the singular form for dice. So, kung familiar kayo sa dice, di ba sa mga board games, may mga dice. So, kapag isa lang ang gagamitin natin, or we use that word as a singular form, we'll have the word die. So, obviously, in a die, or in a regular die, there is no seven. Di ba? Kasi nga, ang nasa regular die ay uh, numbers one to six, or we have contains uh, contain one to six dots. So, dahil wala namang seven sa regular die, so obviously, it is not possible to happen or it will not happen. So that's why this event is impossible. Okay, so imposibling mangyari ang number five. You will obtain seven when uh, rolling a regular die. Okay, so let's proceed to the next. Meron pa tayo. Ayan. So let's see for number six, seven, and eight. You have for number six, tossing an even number or tossing an Add number using a cube numbered 1 to 6. So, paano daw yan? Tossing an even number or tossing an odd number using a cube numbered 1 to 6. So, ano ba ang posibilidad na makakuha ka ng even or odd number sa isang uh, cube or number cube, no? So, ganun din. Sa number 7 naman ay pulling a red marble from a bag with 10 yellow marbles, 6 red marbles, and 1 green marble. So, sa given bag, kukuha ka ng isang marble, at ang nakuha mo ay uh, red marble. May 10 yellow, red, and 1 green. And lastly, sa number 8, the pointer of a spinner numbered 1, 2, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 6, 6, stops on 3. Yung pointer sa isang spinner o yung parang roleta or wheel, no? Tumapat yung pointer sa 3. O, sige, let's see. For number 6, tossing an even number or tossing an odd number using a cube numbered 1 to 6. So, dahil sa cube ay meron tayong numbers 1 to 6. So, obviously, kapag nakakuha ng even number, so, pwede mo makuha ay 2, 4, or 6. And, ganun din, kapag ka nakakuha ka naman ng odd number, ay 1, 3, and so meaning all numbers can be uh, tossed. No? So pwede ka makakuha ng either any of the six numbers. So pwede lahat ng numbers. So dahil pwede naman lahat makuha kasi either even or odd number. So the answer to that is certain. So you are very sure that you will be getting an even number or odd number. Okay, so that is certain. So sure na sure tayo dyan. Number seven, pulling a red marble from a bag with 10 yellow marbles, six red marbles, and one green marble. So red marbles, so meron tayong anim na red marbles. And out of uh, the total number of marbles, so if you add them all, 10, 6, and 1. So 10 plus 6 plus 1 is 17, no? So out of the 17 marbles, you will... 
uh, you have six red marbles. So, dahil uh, medyo kokonti lamang ang red marbles, medyo marami-rami, pero hindi siya masyadong uh, lumagpas sa kalahate ng total number of marbles. So, that's why for number seven, we can have here unlikely to happen. So, bihira lang na mangyayari. Pero kung ang napili ay yellow marble, kasi sampu naman ang yellow marbles, yun ang pinakamadami sa lahat. So, uh, that's more than half of the total. So, we can say that it is most likely to happen. So, that is the answer. Okay, for number eight, the pointer of a spinner is numbered one, two, three, 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 six, six stops on three. So as you can see, we have there one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine numbers in a spinner. And then from those nine numbers, lima ang three. So dial five out of nine ang number three. So that's more than half of the total numbers. No? So that's why we can say that for number eight, uh, this event is most likely to happen. Ayan. So that's most likely to happen. Kasi syempre, uh, malaki yung chance o medyo malaki yung chance three sa isang spinner. Okay. So therefore, those are the answers to our uh problems. So, if you got it right, so, kikita ko naman na nagko-comment kayo ng tama. So, very good kayo lahat. Okay? So, let's go to this. Ayan. So, use the terms. So, since I've already introduced you some terms, so let's have this. Use the terms from the box below. Correctly place them on the probability segment. So, since you have the given uh, probability segment, so, you have the word certain, uh, unlikely, likely, as likely as unlikely, and impossible. So, on the leftmost part of the probability segment, leftmost, or sa Tagalog, nasa pinakakaliwa, ay ang, uh, of course, the least uh, probability. And on the rightmost uh, of the probability segment, or nasa pinakakanang bahagi, ay ang uh, there's uh, the highest chance. So it is from the least to the highest uh, probability. Okay, so may mga nagsasagot na. So sabi ni Roxeline, number one daw ay impossible. Same with Henry Stephen and Kevin Martin. So sa number two, sagot ni Henry Stephen at ni Kevin Martin, number two is unlikely. Number three is as likely as unlikely. Number four is likely uh, and uh, number five is certain. Okay, so ganun din ang sagot ni na Roxeline, ni Kevin Martin, Henry Stephen, uh, Gwyneth, Adrian. Okay, check natin kung tama. So isa-isay natin. So number one, ayan, humabot si Cassandra. So ito po yung choices ha. Susundan po natin yung choices sa box. Okay, so for number one, you have impossible. Of course, that's the least one. Then followed by unlikely. So, unlikely to happen. And number three is as as uh, as likely as unlikely. And for number four, it's likely. And number five, that's the most probability or the highest probability rather. So, we have certain. Okay. So, yan yung mga correct terms na kailangan natin for the probability segment. So, isa-isahin natin yung mga yan. So, let's have this example muna. The weather forecaster says that the probability that it will rain today is 75%. So, tamang-tama, no? So, sa panahon natin ngayon ay maulan-ulan na. And if you're watching news, usually naririnig nyo yan sa mga news, uh, sa mga weather report, no? So, yan. Yeah. So, the weather forecaster says that the probability that it will rain today is 75%. So, what do you mean by that? Since uh, uulan daw ngayon ay 75%, so the likelihood or unlikelihood that something or an event will happen is called probability. So again, probability is the likelihood or unlikelihood of an event. Okay. So, ibig sabihin nun, pwedeng mangyari 
o hindi mangyari ang isang event. So, depende. So, probability may be expressed as the following, whether in terms of ratio or a fraction or even in percent. So, in our example here, the probability is expressed in percent form. Ayan. So, 75%. Okay. So, as you can see, you have the probability. So, probability is denoted by capital letter P. So, notice that the probability, based on the given uh, range of values or inequalities, the probability must be greater than or equal to zero, but less than or equal to one. So, sa Tagalog, pag sinabing probability o ang value ng probability dapat ay mas mataas or equal kay zero, so ang pinakamababang probability ay zero, or mas mababa or equal to one. So ang pinakamataas na probability ay one, or in percent, that is zero percent to one hundred percent. So bawal ka magkaroon ng negative na probability at bawal ka din magkaroon ng probability na improper fraction or mas mataas sa 1 ang value. So, it should be from 0 to 1 inclusive. So, it can either be 0, 1, or between 0 and 1. So, yun lamang ang dapat na values na So that is, of course, you have, ano kaya? Again, the weather forecaster says that the probability that it will rain today is 75%. Is it impossible, unlikely, uh, as likely as unlikely, likely or certain? So the answer is, of course, you have, uh, ayan. So, say say muna natin para alam nyo. So, as you can see, uh, that's uh, 25%. So 25% uh, falls under in impossible na mangyari. So that's 0%. So no chance, no? Ika nga. Then when you say as likely as unlikely, so that's 50%. So it's a fair chance. 50-50, ika nga. Or one half chance. So when you say certain, meaning you are sure, so that is 100%. And of course, 75% is likely. So therefore, we can say that the given scenario is likely. Okay. So yung po yung ibig sabihin niyan. So that event is likely to happen or it will rain today, uh, likely to happen. Okay. So the event is most unlikely to happen. When its probability is closer to zero, like winning a jackpot in a lottery, ayan, so sa mga, uh, iba yung mga kasama, baka may mga kasama kayo na gustong tumaya sa loto, o tumataya sa loto, so there is, uh, there is just a most unlikely chance that you will win in the lottery, so there's a very small chance lamang, so the probability is smaller or closer to zero, where you have only or where you only have one in a million chance of winning. So, napaka-liit ng chance. So, bibihira lang na mangyari. No? May mananalo sa loto or sa lottery. Then, the event is most likely to happen, kapag ka most likely to happen, when the probability is closer to one. So, pag malapit-lapit sa one or 100%, then the event is most likely to happen. Okay, so these are some example scenarios. So, for letter A, it will snow tomorrow. So, obviously, in the Philippines, since our climate is tropical, so, hindi naman nag snow sa Pilipinas. Pero na lang pag nasa ibang bansa ka, ibang lugar. So, therefore, we can say that it is impossible to snow. Ayan. Pero na lang kung magbago ang kung magkaroon ng climate change. Pero, siyempre, on reality, or as of now, 
hindi pa naman nag snow sa Pilipinas. So therefore, it's impossible to snow. Next, the likelihood that two people in any group of 15 will have the same birthday is about 8%. Yun na nga. So, kapag alimbawa, out of the 15 people, dalawang people daw ang may magkapara sa birthday. So, it's a very small chance. So, it's about 8%. So, since the probability is closer to 0%, matching birthdays in a group of 15 is most unlikely. So, bibihira lang na mangyari. Again, most unlikely but not impossible. Pwede pa din namang mangyari. Pero there is just small chance. Okay. Next naman. Okay. What if you watch the weather report and uh, the weather forecaster says that there is a 50% chance of rain today. So, katulad yan, uulan daw ngayon, 50% chance lamang. So, dahil 50% ang chance, this means that the chance to rain today is as likely as it is unlikely. It doesn't mean that it will not rain today. So, dahil 50% nga ito, hati, so pwedeng umulan ngayon, pwede rin namang hindi. Okay. Kung baga, another example of that is uh, tossing a coin. So, when you toss a coin, di ba, uh, there is only uh, two options or two choices. It can either be a head or a tail. So, the chance of getting a head in a coin is 50%. Same thing with getting a tail. It's also 50%. Next sub letter D. So the sports analyst says that uh, Manny Pacquiao has 75% chance of winning his fight. Of course, you all know Manny Pacquiao is a boxer or a former boxer. Ayan. So this means that Manny Pacquiao is likely to win his fight. Kasi 75% chance daw. It does not mean that he will win the fight. Hmm. Pero ayun lang yung uh, base sa uh, sinabi ng isang sports analyst. So if he does not win, it doesn't mean that the analyst is wrong. So sabihin, may small chance lang na matatalo siya sa boxing. So something like that. So yan yung ibig sabihin ng probability. Okay, so let's have this. Edward and team are playing a game. Edward has just flipped a coin to determine who will have the first turn. Okay, what is the probability? So you just place a star on the line segment below to indicate the probability of the coin landing on a head. Okay, parang nabanggit ko to kanina, no? So sige, ano yun na lang? Ano kaya yung uh, probability that the coin is la uh, coin landing on a head? So, is it an impossible event, unlikely, as likely as unlikely, likely or certain? Okay, so according to Gwyneth, ayan sabi niya, as likely as unlikely, ganun din sabi ni Henny Stephen, 50%. So, the correct answer is, of course, as likely as unlikely, or that is the 50% of the event. Very good, ayan. Okay, let's have this. There are one yellow Two blue and two gray cubes in a box. Without looking, what is the likelihood of picking a yellow cube out of the box? Oh, sige. So, ano ba to? Meron the one yellow, two blue, and two gray cubes uh, in a box. Without looking, what is the likelihood or probability of picking a yellow cube out of the box? So, anong probability ba yan? Is it impossible? Unlikely? As likely as unlikely, likely or certain. Okay, so may mga sumagot na. Sabi nila ay unlikely daw to happen. Oh, okay, the correct answer is unlikely nga ba? Check natin. So since there are one yellow cube out of the total number of cubes, which is five cubes, so that's one over five. Or when you compute it, or when you divide one by five, so that is 0.2. Or 20%. So since 20% lang ang ating probability or chance, so therefore it is unlikely to pick yellow uh, cube out of the box. So tamang inyong sagot, unlikely. Ang gagalingan. Okay, observe the spinner below. What is the probability of the spinner landing on a planet other than Jupiter? O paano daw yan? So probability of the spinner landing on a planet other than Jupiter 
So, meron tayong dyang spinner consisting of four planets. You have the Earth, Saturn, Jupiter, and Mars. So, ano daw yung probability ng spinner landing on a planet other than uh, Jupiter? Okay, sige nga. So, ano kaya ang probability natin? Is it uh, impossible? Uh, un unlikely? As likely as unlikely? Likely or certain? Okay, so sagot nila, Gerald, RV, and Stephen, Gwyneth, uh, Cassandra, likely daw. Okay, so sagot din, si Gwyneth, three-fourths daw. Okay, likely. So, tinan natin kung tama mga sagot nyo na likely. ING, likely daw. So, other than Jupiter. So, sabihin, bukod sa Jupiter, no? So, dahil meron tayong three non-Jupiter planets, of course, those are Earth, Saturn, and Mars, over the total number of planets, which is 4, so that's 3 over 4, or when converted to decimals, it's 0 0.75, or in percent is 75%. So dahil that's almost close to 1, so we can say that it is most likely or likely to happen. Abang, kagaling yun na. Very good. Okay, sige, let's check this, or let's try this. Uh, please put all your answers on this exercise. Look at the spinner below. Write and describe the probability. Again, uh, you write the probability and also describe the probability. When you say describe the probability, indicate if it is impossible, uh, unlikely, as likely as unlikely, uh, likely or certain. So you'll write the probability of landing on the following. So landing on one, landing on three or five, uh, landing on an even number, and landing on a seven. So obviously, in the spinner shown, that is just numbers from one to six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So just tell me the probability and the uh, description of the probability when you land on a one, uh, three or five, even number, and landing on a seven. Okay. So I'm waiting for your answers. Okay, so yeah, may mga sagot na. So sabi ni Henry Stephen, letter A is unlikely, letter B unlikely, letter C as likely as unlikely, uh, letter D impossible. Ganun din ang sagot ni Gerald RV. Uh, Okay, parehas lang din sila ni Henry. Si Gwyneth, ganun din with matching value. Same with Adrian and Cassandra. Okay, let's see. So let's have number one or letter A. Landing on number one or landing on a one. So since there is only one one in the spinner, so that is one over six or one six. Six is the total number of uh, numbers there or the outcomes. So one to six. So that's 1 over 6, or in decimals, that's 0 0.16, or 16 and 2 thirds percent uh, when converted to percent. So since it's closer to 0, so it's unlikely to happen. Let's have letter B, landing on a 3 or 5. So pwede sa 3, pwede daw sa 5. So ano ang chance or probability? So when you land on a 3 or a 5, so that is 2 over 6. So 2 over 6 is 1 third, or in decimals, that's 0 0.16. 3, 3, or repeating digit 3, or in percent, if that is 33 and one third percent. So since 33 and one third percent is, again, close to zero, so it's unlikely to happen. Okay, let's have letter C, even number. So obviously, there are three even numbers in the spinner, so that's 2, 4, and 6, so that is 3 over 6, or equivalent to one half and one half is of course we all know that it's equivalent to 50 percent so dahil 50 percent ang kinalabasan so we can say that the probability is as likely as unlikely okay so half a chance and lastly number seven or when you land on a seven so obviously in the spinner given since the spinner consists of numbers one to six so wala namang seven sa spinner so that is zero over six or that is zero or zero percent so no chance of getting a seven so it is an impossible 
event. Okay, so very good kayo lahat. Okay, ang gagaling ninyo. Pwede, pwede na talaga kayong uh, magsagot ng uh, mga exercises talaga. So talagang maintindan ninyo yung ating lesson for today. O sige, so mabilis lang. Observe the contents of the box below and then complete the table. Ayan, so we have the following. So we have their shapes, triangle, cylinder, heart, circle, and uh, smiley. So I suppose that... Uh, okay. So naintindan nyo na ito? O naintindan nyo kaya? O sige. So again, we have the triangle, cylinder, heart, circle, and a smiley. So just again, tell the probability of the outcome. So probability of getting a triangle, getting a cylinder, getting a heart, getting a circle, and getting a smiley. And then... And hello. Ayan. Hopefully, nakuha nyo na. Okay. So, tamang number one. So, for number one, you have triangle. So, that's 0%. Ayan. So, tama. Impossible. For number two, you have two tenths or 0 0.2. So, that's 20%. So, that is unlikely to happen. Then, for number three, heart, you have three tenths or 30%. So, that is also unlikely to happen. So, number one, impossible. Number two, unlikely. Number three, is also unlikely. Okay, very good. Okay, so let's proceed to the second part, numbers four and five. So, tama ninyo mga sagot. How about number four and five? Circle and smiley. So, circle and smiley. Okay, so, ano kayo sa circle and smiley? So, for circle and smiley, so, katulad lang din ng mga naunang tatlo. So, ganun na din ang gagawin natin. So, since there are three circles out of the ten, so that's 30%. And for smiley, there are two smileys out of the ten. So, that's 20%. So, therefore, it is also unlikely to happen. Okay. So, mostly, ang sagot natin ay puro unlikely okay mm, i think uh we'll just uh skip this part so alam nyo na yan siguro so same lang din naman to no so this time naman letters naman ng word na success so from the word success you just simply again determine the probability of outcomes and the description so mostly uh ang sagot natin ay unlikely pa din so, alam nyo na yan. So, same procedure na naman. Uh, iba lang yung uh, given exercise. Okay. So, I think uh, we'll just go to this. Ayan, ito na lang. Okay, a bag contains 10 black marbles, 20 white marbles, and 5 blue marbles. Okay. So, let's have the following. What is the probability of getting, number one, a green marble, number two, a blue marble, Number three, not white marble. And number four, a black marble. Okay, so again, a bag contains 10 black marbles, 20 white marbles, and five blue marbles. So what's the probability of getting a green marble, a blue marble for number two, getting not white marble on number three, and the probability of getting a black marble? Okay, so lumalabas sa number one. Ang number one daw ay impossible. Pero hahanapin natin ang probability dito, uh, mga anak. So dahil wala tayong green marble, since you're only given black, uh, white, and blue, so the chance of getting a green marble is automatically zero over, if you get a total, so 10, 
20 and 5. So that is 35 or 0 over 35, no? Or 0%. So it's impossible. Okay. That's up number 2. Blue marble. So what's the probability of getting a blue marble? So you're, you're only describing the probability. But if you get the probability, so that is 5 over 35. Since uh, there are only 5 blue marbles out of the total number of marbles, which is 35. So that's 1 seventh. So since uh, if you divide 1 by 7, that's 0 point something. It's a small chance or closer to zero, so it's unlikely to happen. Number three, not white. So not white meaning you add the black and the blue marbles. So you can get 15, so that's 10 plus five. So 10 plus five is 15. So that's 15 out of 35. So somehow, hindi siya lumagpas ng kalahate, yung 15. Hindi siya Lumagpas ng kalahate, no? So, that's 3 sevenths when uh, converted to simplest form. And again, it's unlikely to happen. And for number four, the probability of getting a black marble. So, that's 10 uh, black marbles over the total number of marbles. So, that's 35. So, 10 over 35. So, that is 2 sevenths. And again, uh, since uh, there is only a small chance, so that is... Uh, unlikely to happen okay so you have uh, number one impossible numbers two to four is uh, unlikely to happen okay very good napakagaling yung mag uh, okay so two coins are tossed at the same time record all possible outcomes that the coins can land how will you do this okay so paano nyo may papakita ang mga possible outcomes kapag nag-toss kayo ng two coins at the same time or simultaneously, pinagsabay nyo. Okay, so paano nyo gagawin yon? O paano nyo ililista mga possible outcomes? So when dealing with probabilities, it is important to identify all the possible outcomes of an activity or experiments. So that is what you called a sample space. So pag saming sample space, you're going to identify all the possible outcomes lahat lahat ng outcomes so there are common ways that can be used in recording possible outcomes in an experiment so by the way yung tossing a coin uh, at the same time or tossing two coins at the same time is an example of an experiment so parang sa science di ba when you're uh, doing an experiment so gagawin nyo yung experiment mismo so ganun lang din sa probability Okay, so to solve the given problem, a tree diagram can be done. Consider this diagram below to find the possible outcomes that the two coins can land. Okay, so we have the following. So this is a tree diagram. So it's called a tree diagram, of course, uh, from the word itself. So para tayong may branches ng tree, no? So we start with two coins, then the possible outcomes of the first coin. So you have head or a tail. So that's why you have head and tail there. And then for the possible outcomes of the second coin, so you have the following. So by the way, in finding the possible outcomes or all the possible outcomes, so you can have either of the following. So padding head and a head, padding head and a tail, padding tail and a head. So take nota, um, iba, magkaiba ng bilang yung head and tail. First yung head, then second coin is tail. Sa first coin, tail, second coin, head. And uh, maghiwalay sila ng bilang. So then you have also tail and tail. So therefore, uh, when you're listing all the possible outcomes, when you're, when you're going to toss two coins at the same time, so you have one, two, three, four possible outcomes. So we have head, 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 tail, tail, head, and tail, Tail. Okay. So, yan yung mga possible outcomes. So, therefore, there are four possible outcomes when two coins are tossed. And these are the following. Again, you have HH, HT, TH, and uh, TT. So, H stands for head and T stands for tail. 
typically when going uh, when you're going to write the possible outcomes so usually we're going to use open and close braces so we can do it like this h h h t t h and t t so we use the initials h for head and t for tail but if you're going to write it in full words you're going to use a parenthesis so head 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 tail tail head and tail tail yeah so something like that and then again at the end you're going to use open and close braces so wag na wag nyong kalimutan whenever uh, you usually list all the possible outcomes okay so if you're asked to bind or if you're asked or if you are to be asked rather if you are to be asked to perform an experiment to toss two coins 20 times so kunarin nagkakanda ka na experiment gagawin mo yung pagtotos ng coins ng 20 times and record all the possible outcomes then another way is to make a table so making a table can be used so the table below shows how to record uh, outcomes in, ex in an experiment. So, ito ay sample lamang. So, syempre, eh, pag tayo nag-conduct na experiment, uh, hindi naman na tayo pare-pares ng kalalabasan. No? So, for example, ayan yung table. So, usually, sa table na yan, ayan yung mga outcomes. Then, you have the tally of outcomes and the frequency. Kung ilan ang nakuha sa bawat outcome. So, base sa experiment, head-head, Five times, head tail is five times as well. Tail head is four times only and tail tail is six. So therefore, based on the given table, pag ikaw yung toss ng coin, uh, pinakamadaming toss ay yung tail tail and yung pinakakonting uh, na toss na tail head, uh, pinakakonting na na toss ay tail head kasi apat na beses lamang siyang nangyari. Okay, so therefore, that's the end of the lesson. And for your homework, uh, my dear students, since magta time na din, so for your homework, please uh, post it in our Depot e to lie FB page and please use the hashtag, hashtag Mat6Q4 Week 5, since nasa Week 5 na tayo. Uh, and also, please use the hashtag, hashtag DepEd, or should I say, uh, Itulay Level Up. Uh, do natin, uh, ano na lang, para mabilisan tayo. So, Itulay Level Up. 